I've come to the northeast of England, more specifically Holy Island off the Northumberland coastline. It's midday, the light is harsh, and I haven't got long. In fact, I've only got an hour and a half window. This is a typical time frame for the casual tourist, so come along with me on my mini mission and see if a professional photographer is able to produce any creative images of Lindisfarne Castle and its surroundings. I've just come into this boatyard which is full of lobster pots and old boats. This is literally my favourite type of environment to photograph in. And I've just seen this scene here with these three or four old boats upturned here and Lindisfarne Castle in the background. And I'm just trying to manoeuvre myself so I get the, the right angle because these work really well in the foreground and sort of lead you into the photograph. Have a look at these incredible boats. I thought those boats over there were cool, but this is so much cooler. I've actually read about these. These are the upturned herring boats that um, have been here for hundreds of years. And what they've done is that they've brought the old herring boats up onto the shore, turned them over, and then they actually have to put tar all over them. So now they're waterproof with the tar on top. And they use them now for all their fishing storage. So each fisherman has their own upturned boat and just gives the landscape an absolutely amazing atmosphere and something I've never seen before. These boats are so interesting. They've obviously been here for hundreds of years, but over time people are having to do constant repairs on them so you can you can see it first started with tar then it's gone to like felt then plastic there's aluminium there still got the old um, boards from the boat really, really amazing but um, I've been trying to photograph the castle through boats I think there's also lots of other things to do here but I'm all over the place I haven't got much time so I'm going to concentrate on two things the first one was to photograph the castle from the boats and the second one is to get the details of the boats themselves. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Oh, it's amazing, where should I go? I found a uh, really amazing detail here on this old dinghy. We've got blues, reds, oranges, purples. I think this will look really good. Te technically wise, it's actually quite difficult to photograph because now my tripods are now casting a shadow on my image. So I'm having to put my body in the way so that everything is in the shade. And because the depth of field is so shallow because I'm so close to it, I'm having to image stack on various parts of the image so that the middle is sharp and also around the edges is sharp as well. So when I print this up to a meter wide, you can go right into the corners and you'll see that they're really, really sharp. So that's really important when you're taking this sort of photo. For me anyway, I mean, you can do this, you know, with a shallow depth of field, but I love to see all the detail in the, in the whole image. So it feels like you can just pick off the paint. Awesome shot.